did. And now mm-hmm. that I'm older slash wiser-ish, well, whatever, right? But as long mm-hmm. as I'm older and wiser, I recognize like any art that forces you to practice and give you a regular little bit of discipline is actually very, very helpful for any artist, whether you're a writer. Yeah. Whether, like, that, like I imagine like, I, I, I'm like I imagine that your drawings, your paintings, you know, some of the other things you've done when you were younger have definitely benefited you when you actually built your guitars. Because oh, yeah. I, yeah, because the discipline muscles that you built when you were younger probably transferred over very much when you started doing that. Am I right on that? Oh yeah. Yeah. And I think like part of me thinks that well you know, I'm pursuing two very different careers. Um, they're both an art form. But I think, like, because I knew as soon as I started getting these feelings of, like, man, I'd love to build a guitar. I'd love to, like, kind of share that with the world. Um, I knew, like, this is going to, I'm going to come to a crossroads and I'm going to have to figure it out. Like, because they're both so close to me, how do I juggle that? Um, and so I think for me, I, I got to this point where it was like, well, I was trying out more different artistic practices, branching out, like I had mostly only used acrylic paints before, and I was really interested in trying out oils. And obviously, like, well, not obviously, I guess, like, I'm most comfortable in the sketching format, graphite erasers, needle erasers, like that's my home. That's what I was kind of brought up with. Um, And I found that the more um, disciplines I took on, the more I learned about different kind of outlets of creating artwork, the more my kind of existing skills increased. Like, as I learned how to oil paint, my acrylic painting got better. As I learned how to paint better, my sketching got better. As I sketched better, like, my painting got better. It just all kind of, like, keeps going up in its in its own little way. And, and that, too, with the guitar. Um, I find that, like, something to do with, um, like, you know, warming up. In, in an artistic practice you spend i don't know everyone's different five or ten minutes 20 minutes doing just like doodles and sketches and then you kind of settle into the piece that you're doing uh i find that guitar is a really good way to warm up um or vice versa if you're drawing drawing is a really good way to warm up for guitar and so because you're just you know it's all that mind body connection so actually, I would so I was going to ask this question. I think this is an interesting one for you. I reckon so. So at some point, about because I've been podcasting and I've been writing books. I've been podcasting for about five years and been writing for a lot longer. Yeah. I, right. Um, but I, at some point, what I did was I asked myself this question: What do my what does my writing and my podcasting have in common? Mm. Right. Because I I find like. Don't get me wrong, like technique from a just purely technical point of view, they are completely different spectrums. Yeah. Yeah. But from from the discipline of how you put it together, they're not really that different. Dude, but what I've learned is it's more of how so my podcast brain, I, I ask questions. I I find like because I've interviewed so many people, mm-hmm. I get a better figure about who my characters are i have a clear understanding of who they are and who they're not because i've interviewed so many real life people and i've heard their stories on and on and on and i'm always fascinated by what i listen to so my podcasting aids my empathy with all my characters when i write my story and it's a really interesting right it it makes sense though right right so it makes sense and vice versa my writing be made my writing creates um especially when it, basically what all, all artists are problem solvers on um, like on <laughs> some level or another we're all problem solvers that's what we do we are yeah. looking at it we are looking at a situation and we're like okay how do we fix this like when you're building a guitar 
right? I mean, I probably the most interesting thing about you is you're like different wood creates a different sound. Absolutely. Fascinating, right? Because yeah. how does that work? And what happens when I mix and match these different things together? What kind of sounds can I make? And maybe just maybe by just doing that experimentation, you discover a brand new sound that's never been done. Or Absolutely. right. And that that's a big part. Like that's a big part of what you do. And when you're drawing, drawing structure. I go. I, I think I, like my first aunt taught me like when the very first thing she said. One of the first things she said was that everything's about little circles, squares, and triangles. And when you start looking at art that way, like sketching that way, it simplifies. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot more to it than that. But that's oh, you're cool. just breaking down form, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's a heck of a foundation to start with. Now. Figuring out emotion, storytelling, those kind of things are going to take a lot more practice than what I currently am at. Mm. But, but I understand, like, now suddenly I don't see it, or it terrified me, but now I'm like, I understand something about it, right? And same thing, writing's got little bits of forms and functions and, and, and themselves. Like, everything has something in common. So maybe what I should ask you looking at your different disciplines, what do they have in common? What you might find is they may not be so different after all. What they might be is different expressions of the same thing. Oh, and yeah. Th is that neat? Like that's, it's, just a th it's a thought for you to actually put yeah. on going forward, right? right? Don't look like, technically, obviously, there's no, there's no, um, there are, I mean, at a very base level, there might be some similarities, but obviously technically they're very different things. But in yeah. terms of what you're actually doing with them, right, you might find it's not that different. No, and, and it, it's it's yeah. just different enough yeah. that they complement each other. Exactly. And I'm able to do both of them in tandem, and they kind of fulfill two sides of me. Exactly. Um, and I think I'm really lucky to have that because it means that when I get burnt out of one thing, I have a different discipline that I can go to that is still satisfying me creatively, but in a different way. So what, what would the similarities be to answer your question? Yeah. I'd say I'm... I'm conveying something through a final product. Yes. Um, I am creating an image or a final piece that has a feeling and an emotion in my head that speaks of uh, aesthetic or um, a, like whatever it could be. And through the process, I'm choosing line, I'm choosing material, I'm choosing um, all of these things to come together at the end to convey a certain thing. With my guitars, obviously, this is not a standard shape for an electric guitar. Well, it's not. 